everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i have a look you probably feel like you've seen before i did a video some months ago on a similar look um it was all black with some a different stone design um but it had the same lettering and same concept i posted this on instagram y'all said y'all wanted to see it so here it goes um this is a previous set I did a video on these months ago. This set that I'm showing you guys today, the red one, is very old. It's been in my phone for a while because I was like, oh, I did this already. Didn't know if you want to see it, but here we are in a pandemic. Let's do it. So um, I didn't show the feel and the takedown. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. This was months ago. Blame my past self. Um, <laughs> I am using the Swarovski Crystal Pixie Edge in the red color. I'm not sure what it's called. They're not called the same as the regular stones. Um, the red stones I showed you guys, um, the Swarovski stones, are a seam. I believe they're just regular seam. There's dark seam, light seam, and just regular, which is shades of red. Dark seam is dark red, light is light red. Regular is like a medium tone red. So I, um, I'm going to be using those stones. And this is for the bling pinky. I wanted to put a solid red base down. Um, so I'm using the wildflowers uh, paint in a pot. I have the whole set. So I went ahead and used that and just painted that pinky solid. And you've seen that coverage. I just needed one coat of that. So I didn't have to bulk the nail up underneath with two, three coats of polish. So I'm using um, this color from Presto. I believe it's SC158. Um, go ahead and rewind a few seconds and see if I'm correct um so I'm doing a um I believe I do one coat on all the nails I love between SC I think it's 158 and SC 102 there are some amazing nude colors as far as gel polish um goes they're really good and um Chan Legend um I follow him I'm sure which a lot of you do too as well I'm a fan it was really good work and I love the nudes he does in the ombre so I figured out what colors he uses I'm creeping on his post so um I purchased these two a while back and I've gotten so much use out of them so on all the nails um that are not gonna be bling I'm painting them this nude and go ahead and cure it in the light um and I'm just doing a very thin layer so after I go ahead and cure them in the light I'm gonna to I'm going I'm going to apply a um a no wipe matte top coat I'm sure you could do a wipe top coat just make sure you wipe off the tacky layer once you cure it the reason I'm doing this now is because I want a um like a chalkboard like surface to use my charcoal pencil on when I get ready to give an outline to my letters so now I'm using the stay put jelly from daily charm and I'm applying a thin layer all over the nail. Now, this is the thinner of the two crystal gels that they have. And I am going to personally say I should have used the thicker one um, just so the stones um, could have sunk down a little deeper. When she come back, she was missing a little of the pixies. I usually don't have that issue, but I believe it's because this was such a, th a thinner gel. Um, it didn't really those um edge pixies you see they're much more coarse and bigger pieces um so if these were the regular standard pixies i feel like this product is just fine so i don't think it's a bad product i just don't think the product was made for um this application with these um kind of pixies so just um you know take that and do with it what you will use a thicker gel for this process if you're going to use pix these crystal edge pixies um which again are much bigger pixies in comparison but this is a very beautiful look um nonetheless it it stayed beautiful the whole time but again she was you know missing a little bit and wasn't as flawless as i'd like it to be after the the weeks that she had it um but either way go ahead and seal around the stones um you see at the edge I didn't apply everything all the way to the edge um that's because I want this stiletto silhouette still if you don't push in the edges of these crystals you're going to get a very very bulky nail so when you're doing pixies whether it's these edge ones which are bigger or the ones that are smaller go ahead and um go ahead 
and push in those stones so you get the silhouette of the whatever shape nail you have if it's coffin stiletto almond whatever you're doing don't let it bulk up on you so i'm using this um stay put jelly in a tube i actually wish i would have squeezed um, this out and use it as the base for those pixies so that is a great product to use um, you can go ahead and use code tabitha um, to get a discount if you're purchasing from daily charm oh so you can see i applied a good amount of that gel in the tube i um want to express to you how important it is to sink stones into that gel you want it to come up over the edge like you're faceting in a, a diamond in a ring you want it to hold the edge of those stones and um, after you go ahead and apply um, the stones and you sink it into that gel go ahead and feather the edges out so you don't get a line of demarcation so I might not have showed it but off screen I go in with a brush and kind of blend those edges out and now I've cured the gel and I'm sealing it in with um, gel top coat. This is actually a two-in-one sealer from Daily Charm. Again, you can use code Tabitha for a discount. I believe my discount um, gets you 10% off. So that's a great way for you guys to, you know, save some money and also help me out in these tough times um, to get a little commission. So that's the pen that I'm using. Don't feel like you have to use that. Um, you can just use a fine brush in a very good top coat. Um, but I do recommend a no wipe top coat, of course, because you don't want a tacky layer in between stones and around your stones. So after I sealed in around the crystals with that no wipe top coat, I cured that. And now I'm going in with my matte top coat and I'm going around the stones and I don't want to go on them at all. I want to go around them. So our, our, um, our crystal gel and our top coat, we want to go around those edges and actually touch the stones and seal in the edges and cover them with our matte top coat. We don't want to do that because we'll frost out the crystals. So we want to outline it with the matte top coat. And um, we go ahead and cure that. And this is the look. You see, I use those crystal pixies in, in the way that I use my micro beads. I didn't feel like silver, gold, or anything really went. I wanted to keep it all red. So for the um, lettering, I... Um, am going to be using a white charcoal pencil and you see how it writes on the nails um it gives it like i said that chalkboard texture so i can go ahead and use this pencil effortlessly and get the lines where i want them right now i'm measuring the um, length i want the lettering to be i want to make sure it looks similar and takes up about the same amount of space on all the nails um, you kind of have to adjust for the smaller nails like the pinky because you have less um, space width wise. Um, so you might have to compensate just visually how it, your lettering looks, maybe make it a little bigger across that nail so it feels proportionate. Um, and that's just it is just aesthetics at that point. You don't have to whatever looks best. It's just something to keep in mind. Now, looking back at this again, this is, these are months and months old. Um, I can say I did make my S a little big in the established part. <laughs> I feel like it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think they came out pretty proportionate? How, how do you feel? Um, I want to give you a, a disclaimer. I'm not winging this at all. I have a um, another phone next to me and I googled some old English lettering, um, asked my client which, you know, kind of style she preferred. She wanted lower, upper, you know, whatever, um, just to make sure it's what she wanted and had a feel for it because there's different, you know, fonts within that genre of fonts. So um, I'm going ahead. I'm, I'm just looking at the letters and mimicking to the, mimicking them to the best of my abilities. And I'm using this pencil to actually color in the whole area. I'm not just doing an outline, which, of course, you can do, but I'm doing it in a way. And you'll notice when I go in and apply the red paint. I'm not going to 100% follow these guidelines, and I know that might seem counterproductive in a way. I'm using this, so once I see that E that I have, I'm like, okay, that looks good. When I paint it, maybe I need to thin out this line, thicken this line, but I can establish just a basic look and see how I feel about it, if that makes sense. So I'm just going in. You see me actually coloring it in. I haven't had any issues um, with painting um, the gel polish over a charcoal pencil at all. Um, so I do 100% recommend it's a great way to establish, you know, designs and drawings because you have more control. It's very hard for me personally 
to do certain things um, with gel pay. Um, I don't have all the skills by any means. So curves and stuff are very hard for me in that medium using a brush, a paintbrush. So doing something like this kind of helps me, um, even though this is mostly straight lines, um, I do feel like um, this is really helpful. And um, when I've thought about doing any type of more intricate actual drawings, because I, I feel more confident in my drawing skills, just, you know, on a piece of paper, I actually do enjoy drawing. And I wanted to do um, a video, just like a, a speed kind of time lapse of me drawing. I find myself doing much more of that in my free time and way less nails in my free time. So, you know, if you guys enjoy that type of thing, just let me know. I might put it out anyways, but, you know, just let me know how you feel. So I sped this up a whole bunch. It's just me looking at these letters and imitating the best I can. I had to redo that four on her pinky um, a couple times. Um, so we got that down. Okay, so now I'm going in with my red paint. And again, this paint is from Wildflowers Nails. I'll go ahead and leave a link below um, so you can know where to find this. I believe you can only get it in the set, but I'll go ahead and clarify and leave whatever information I can find below for you guys. So I'm using the Wildflowers um, paint brushes or art brushes. Um, I got the whole kit. Wildflowers sent it over to me a while back, so I'm very appreciative of them for that. Um, and I'm using the orange brush and the blue one um, just to achieve this look. It's a medium striper and a long striper as you can see. So I'm just going in between the, the two um, and seeing what feels the best um, to me. Because the medium striper is a little bit wider, I can fill in some bigger spaces like the back side of this E a little better. And the long striper is a little thinner so I can do longer lines and sharper lines. Um, but also uh, finer lines as well. I do want to add as a tip, if you're doing drawing like this, yeah, I do encourage you just to take it, you know, one step, one piece at a time. Don't get ahead of yourself. It might seem a little cheesy and cliche, but really just take it one little piece at a time. And if you feel like you've established something good um, with whatever you're doing, like I love this part, that part, it's good. You can go ahead and cure this. This is a gel paint. I don't like regular paints on nails because I don't want to work um, against time with a product air drying. And I want to be able to know that it's going to last very well on the nail. So if you establish a part that you know you like, go ahead and cure it in the light so you um, will have that set in place and you can move forward. And you feel a little bit more confident about your work when you can go ahead and get a couple lines down and set those and then regroup and go back in and, you know, kind of knock out the rest. So once I go ahead and cure the gel, I'm just going to take a nail wipe and some alcohol and wipe off the excess um, charcoal, the white charcoal pencil. Please, if you're going to be using a lighter, brighter color, use white. If you're going to be using black or a very, very dark color, you can go ahead and use like a dark old traditional colored charcoal pencil. Um, but 
please don't. You're going to mix the color. You're going to make this turn into a dark, muddy, gray-toned red. Uh, the white really doesn't affect it at all. So I went in and you see me using the file and I just kind of knocked some of the product down off the edges just to refine that shape because I applied the gel polish. Maybe I applied two coats so I couldn't remember. <laughs> um, and then the matte top coat. So I just didn't want to bulk them up too much. So I, that's why I went ahead and just filed those edges down just to retain that sharper stiletto shape. Um, as you may notice, I don't make my stilettos like knife sharp I don't believe in that the these like stilettos on their own can be just how these are be way too sharp um and I just don't find it practical if a client absolutely specifically asks me for very very sharp stilettos that's when I'll do it but I don't get a lot of people that do but some people that's their style that's their thing that's fine I don't judge but um you know for me I find people can find these unpleasant um as far as their sharpness um and find it difficult just to put on pants and leggings and do certain things you know um so I just did the same thing here finish these colors super really quick I wish I could work that fast in real life I'm gonna go ahead and use my daily charm velvet no wipe matte top coat again you can use code Tabitha for a discount um if you're purchasing that and I'm just going to give these a final top coat. And that is going to be it, everybody. So I, again, I know this is a repeat video. Or maybe you're new here and you didn't see the first one. Go ahead and check the other one out. And I appreciate you for watching this one. I appreciate you guys' time and support. I am still doing my um, pricing and business guidelines. If you're interested in that, it's $35. I'll have information below. Um, it's soft copy documents, Word files, and Excel file. So if you need that information, go ahead and email me. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Bye.